Hey, it's Grant with BluebirdLandlord.com, and in this video, I'm going to help you decide where to place your Bluebird house. I'm going to give you four tips to help you decide on the best location for you. Tip number one is to place your Bluebird house in an open location. Bluebirds love wide open spaces because they hunt from sitting in a low perch and they'll spot insects on the ground, so they like wide open areas. So if you do have a large backyard or maybe a large front yard, you can place your Bluebird house in a spot that's facing an open area and that should be really attractive to Bluebirds. Tip number two is to place your Bluebird house about five feet off the ground. It's best to mount it where the entrance hole is at about eye level. This is more for convenience for you than for the Bluebirds because if your nest box is at eye level, you'll be more likely to monitor the nest box regularly. If it's too high, it might be too difficult to get to. And if your nest box is too low, it'll be more at risk to predators like cats or raccoons who might be more likely to reach into the box if it's mounted too low. So mount your nest box at eye level. Tip number three is to mount your bluebird house at least 50 yards away from brushy or heavily wooded areas. House wrens love brushy wooded areas and that's one of the main competitors for bluebird nest boxes. So the North American Bluebird Society recommends keeping your nest box placed at least 50 yards away from wooded or brushy areas to avoid competition with house wrens. Tip number four, avoid mounting your bluebird nest box close to buildings. I'm talking about houses or barns especially. Now this rule isn't a hard and fast rule. I mounted my first bluebird house close to my house and it was very successful and had a pair of bluebirds uh, that first season. But bluebirds like wide open areas, like I said before, and house sparrows like houses. They like barns, they like buildings. So if you're having problems with house sparrows especially, get your bluebird house away from your house, okay? Mount this in an open area and avoid houses, especially barns where house sparrows can find food and things that really attract them. So keep this away from buildings. There are a few other questions you should consider when deciding on the best place to place your bluebird house. Like what direction should it be facing? And how far apart should you spread your bluebird houses if you're putting up one or two, maybe even three boxes? I've got all the answers to those questions on a helpful post on my website. So go ahead and go to bluebirdlandlord.com location. I'm gonna include that right here and as a link in the description of this video. So go ahead and click on that link. I hope to help you find the best place to set up your bluebird house in your yard. I'll see you in the next video.